But imagine labels <coughs> or whatever type of company. Like picture, um, what, what label's out today? Who even knows, right? <laughs> Sony. <laughs> I don't Sony. know. I don't know. So let's say. Is Def Jam still around? <laughs> I think they are. But let's say they get rid of all their A&R staff mm-hmm. and they only hire web developers and people that understand how to maneuver this AI thing, right? And they are able to create songs. Like how, I don't know if you saw Timbaland created a trap soul song. Wow. Like live, beat, hook, lyrics, all of that. So mm-hmm. you remove the actual artist <coughs> and you have a label put out a song mm-hmm. or an album. And you can pretty much create a playlist and now this label has this album dropping or this playlist mm-hmm. dropping with all these types of songs that DJs can play for the vibe and the feel. Some of them get popular, some Mm-mm. not. Mm-mm. Take clips, put them on TikTok. Mm-mm. And then another Mm-mm. label does the same thing. Mm-mm. Does that, can that happen? Do we still need the artists? Do we still need the videos? Do we still need the visual? Or can we just go with trap song? Like, a, like imagine if um, Water... Make me sweat. Mm. What if that was a song created by no. a label? And they wanted to just Im- imitate that type of vibe. <clears throat> who's going who's gonna to not play that? What do you think That's combats that? That's a scary that? idea. What, com- what combats that from happening? Only thing I can think of is performances and videos. Performances, <clears throat> videos, but also the constant creation and evolution of music. They don't care about that, though. But you got to realize some of these songs that may be hot now, mm-hmm. AI generated, so to speak. Yeah. They may not work two, three years later because the sound has changed. Like even if you make artists go underground, like yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Like they got to figure it out on their own. No label help, none of that. And that's pretty much what they're doing now. Yeah. But <clears throat> there's always going to be a creative element to it that can't be artificially produced. Okay. And whether it's a sound, whether it's a cadence, whether it's a a pocket that a rapper finds, like whatever, yeah. like those uh-huh. small nuances that refined artists create, I don't know if a system can generate that. They may be able to recreate the sound, okay, recreate the voice, but as far as evolving to what the next sound is going to be or what the listener likes as yeah. the years go on, I don't think they they was they would still need some sort of basis to to base this sound on. So two things to combat that: one, this trap sound has been a, around for a long time, yeah, and nothing has changed. Only thing now, uh, Afro beats has probably gotten more popular and has hmm. probably seeped in, but that's been that's been there for years. We just accepted it <clears throat> and kind of became more popular on our side. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. Number two, that can still happen, what you're talking about, but they can hire a staff to find them. So they hire, to if they hire a staff, like, yo, we got two or three people on our staff to find Mm -mm. sounds, to find artists, Mm -mm. find good rappers. I'll tell you, at that point, take that shit. At that point, artists won't be what, looking to work with, they won't they're be looking. Gonna, they're not working. They're not working with you. <laughs> we're gonna find you. We're gonna find Listen. you. We're gonna take it. We're gonna bring it here, and we're gonna recreate it without Mm-mm. telling you a word. Because that's what they're doing I don't when like they it. when they take independent artists. I don't like it. <laughs> some of them they sign. Mm-hmm. Some of some them, them they take, take the sound. Yeah, but that's been going on. I know. It just it used to be people doing it. Right. <laughs> like so that's not nothing new. Now they're saying f the artist completely. Mm-hmm. We are doing song-driven industry. But I don't think, I still don't think the casual listener wants to hear just a random, like, a, I don't think a, a casual listener wants to hear an AI-generated album. There's no there's no connection to it. There's no, a lot of people listen to music based on their connection to an artist or their connection to a song. So my connection to a song won't be the same if I know it's not a real person with emotions behind that. Yeah. So that's that's the the human element is what you can't recreate. Yeah. So while the sound may be the same, the beat may be the same, the tempo may be the same, it actually sounds like the artist, the person may sound like it's the actual yeah. artist, but knowing that that's not a real person, yeah, the human connection that if I hear a song and I think this person may have actually gone through this, I may have a stronger connection to the song than yeah. I would then 
hearing a song and be like, man, the fucking computer's song saying this. I don't know. Like, it sounds great emotionally, but yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no actual pain behind this. This is a, this is a song that was generated by a computer. I have no. It sounds great. I play it in my car, yeah. but you know what I mean. So there, there is like, I always say, music puts you in a place. Yeah. Like you can hear a song and remember what you were doing at the time. Or I remember we used to listen to this back here. Like I'll never forget the yeah. summer of '98 just based on like the music that I was listening to yeah, at that yeah, time. No, I agree. So there's always a human component that comes with a connection to music. That's not just oh I like the music. Yeah. Oh I like like people like artists. Yeah. People like some artists doing different things. Some people like yeah. country Beyonce. Some people like R&B Beyonce. Some people like. Rapper Mary J. Blige, some people like yeah. hurt Mary, like you know what I mean. So there's always a human connection yeah. that you can't recreate with. While the sound may be there, the human element is like, okay, it sounds good, but yeah, I have, you know what I mean. So two things, yeah, because <laughs> I agree with Are you. You AI? I, no, I, <laughs> I'm giving I'm giving the people another side. So two things: one, media events invents reality. Did you know that uh, Nicole Simpson's handyman was a serial murderer? I right. listen. There's so many things that they don't put in the media. Not, but I'm just saying specifically. Like, but that just came out recently. Wow, that the dude was a serial murderer. Okay, that killed her and Ron Goldman. Like nobody knew that. Right. That's one. Two. I don't know if you ever saw. There's a, a video where um, older gentleman and a young kid they can't see each other, but a woman is in front of them asking them to um, to do hand motions for certain things, like write a letter. And he's like this, and she and, he, and, the, and the kid is like this. Right. Answer the phone. He's like this. The kid is like, like this. Like, right. It's two different worlds. Two different worlds. Right. That they're growing up in. In ten to fifteen years, this human connection that we're talking about, that we're used to, mm-hmm. they may not know about it. I doubt that. I, I know. I doubt. You're that. supposed to doubt it. <laughs> That's like, how we that. feel. Like okay, okay. So even if you think of being at this point, yeah. Right. You think of music from 60s, 70s, 80s, all of that. Yeah. Despite the time gap, there are songs from then that you could play right now that you'll have it like you'll feel it. Absolutely. Because you know that there's a person on the on the on the other end of that. Yeah. As far as a kid growing up not knowing, oh, but what happens with that is how does a person become your favorite artist? Because not just hearing them. You see them. Maybe. You see pictures of them. You see them on IG or whatever they're doing. Like, you see them. Like, you... People fall in love with artists not just because of the way they sound. Right. Most people, they they see them. They they like the way... Like, it's something about them that they like. They don't just hear Taylor Swift, never saw her before, and then they're like, yeah. oh, I just like her. Yeah. There's a, a, a connection that you feel when you see this person, whatever it is, whether it's the pain behind the music, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. The sound of the music is great, but again, if there's not a connection with a person on the other end of that, I don't think that that's not something that you can generationally get out of what your affinity to music is. Like that's like that. There's just certain human elements that you just can't remove from. Right. Again, a person likes a song based on yeah, it sounds great. Yeah, it does this, but the first thing people do when they hear a new song, they want to hear uh, Google them, see what they look like. Yeah. Oh, what other videos they got out? Oh, what other songs they got out? If you Google the shit and that shit show Rosie from the Jetsons sitting yeah. there like, hey, it's me. Like, yeah. you're going to be like, oh, this doesn't, it doesn't have the same feel now. Like, this is, yeah. you know what I mean? I agree, but I think two things can also be true. I think that they would find that the Taylor Swift's of the world, the iconic artists, mm-hmm. may not be as profitable in 10 to 15 years for a label because why would I sign? Because it doesn't make any sense. And if I can still generate money without an artist, I would do that. But I feel like, believe it or not, that's kind of the direction that labels have to go in. Because artists don't need labels anymore. That's what I'm saying. Like, they don't have a choice. Yeah. So they're going to... Like, gonna... for them to create music, like, they don't have a choice. Like, for them to continue to function on and yeah. operate as a, as a for-profit company, they, they don't have a choice. Because art, artists don't need labels anymore. It will be us against them. Basically. I think it will be us against them. So, and this is why I'm saying, like, no matter how far how far removed we get from actual artists or AI creating music or whatever the case may be, there's never going to be, I, I never foresee a time where music doesn't always have some sort of human connection to it. 
And you, that human connection comes in whatever your connection to this artist is, whatever type of whatever it is you see in your of yeah. yourself in this artist. Like it, it, there's some sort of you you see something about you in this person, and it just wouldn't have that same feeling, or it just wouldn't pause touch you the same way if you felt like this was just something computer generated. Yeah, we went from so. vinyl and, and album artwork and CD covers mm-hmm. and being able to read and touch and feel this thing that came with the the music that we purchased. To, you remember that? Yeah. But like that was the thing. But that's gone. Think about that. That's over. So now but, we've replaced it with being able to follow an artist, mm-hmm. hear their voices, hear them speak, do things like this <clears> where if we would have if we would have had people hear us speak casually and talk about life, right. they would have gotten to know us more right. and been more involved in our music. So- this it's a different time. But even if you think about that, like the evolution from vinyl, well, t- vinyl to tape to CD to just streaming, MP3 and streaming. Like yeah. even if you just think about that evolution, it still there was a, there was a feeling about going to physically pick up that CD. Oh yeah. There was a feeling about taking out the insert and looking through the credits and yeah. if there were yeah. lyrics in there. Yeah. Like there was a feeling about that. It has to come back in some form. And that's what I'm saying. Like even if you evolve to okay, now it's just digital streaming. And everything is, you know, you got to create it yourself and labels is doing it on their own or whatever yeah. the case may be. There's still always going to be an element of, okay, what, vid- what, al- what songs on this project does she have videos for? Or what songs on this project does he have videos for? Or yeah. who's featured on it? Like you, and even those type of connections, a lot of times you listen to artists or you might listen to a project just based on somebody being on the project. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's always going to be some sort of human interaction and or connection or feeling yeah. To the music that you can't generate just by the music sounding good. Huh? We'll so, see. 